Taking over in the landscape of the kicks and copping any bricks. I'll fire you desire, but rock them, maybe flip. It's easy, you never trip. Get them early, you never miss. No bot, but if they have me get to the court, they cap. Now welcome to Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, yeah, Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, Sneaker World. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Bobby Sneaker World, and I am back with another video. Now, we got some things to talk about. I. Uh, I'm, not, I'm trying not to take up too much of your time with the intro. You already see from the title and the thumbnail, we're here to talk about the Travis. No. We're here to talk about the poor man's. No. We're here to talk about the Mocha ones, man. The dark Mocha Jordan oh. ones dropped today. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and it was it was just as hectic as I expected. Um, slight bars. Uh, and you know, I was, I was, I was somewhat successful. I was, I, I was more successful than most, but unsuccessful in a way that made me happy in my household as far as on a whole. Um, but I will explain, but before we get into the explanation and talking about the sneakers a little bit, um, if you're new around here and that big button down below is still red, you're doing it all wrong, man. Make sure that button is gray. Come over here and join the movement. Subscribe to the channel, man. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that continue to tune in and give me, you know what I'm saying, your 8 to 10 to 15 to 20 sometimes minutes out of your day, man. You can be spending them that time anywhere else, but you choose to have your phone in your hand or be in front of the computer and watch my content, man. So I am extremely grateful and thankful for that. Um, But yeah, so I have... Two bags here, man. My one of my favorite places in the entire sneaker world, JD Sports. Bless me first, man. They contacted me and let me know that I hit on a raffle. And then the next day, all chaos and hell broke loose. It almost felt it felt like last year before the Flex program was instituted and the app was shut down and started glitching and you couldn't get in and you couldn't sign in you couldn't see re reserve your pairs and all of that first here in ohio i don't know how it was all around the country but i know a lot of i'll just speak for here in columbus they shut the foot action re reservation down two hours before the time where you can secure a pair you know you find out if you won or not like 4 15 they canceled all reservations. So I'm, I'm assuming that everywhere that they cancel reservations because they have late shipments. So they're still going to be getting pairs in a lot of those places, but it's just going to be whenever. Whenever the shipment comes in, you have to keep in contact with those local stores and see, hopefully you have somebody that you know in those stores and you can still secure a retail W, um, just a delayed W. Um, but I was able to get back into my, I was not unable to get into my Foot Locker when at like five, when it, you, they pick uh, people all the way until about 645. And then you had till seven to, to secure your reservations. And that was the Foot Locker pair. So I was able to double up, man. Unlike some people that took all L's, you know, my plan wasn't to double up. My, my plan was to get my personal pair and Josiah a pair. It was imperative that I got a six wide today. Didn't happen, man. Wasn't in the cards. Um, but you put in your raffles everywhere. Doesn't matter. You know, you you put in ten and a half and six as many places as you can. And you hope that you hit, you know, one. Um, and that's what I was able to do. I was able to hit on two. I hit a JD Sports and I hit a pair of Foot Locker. So I've rambled long enough. I don't know how long I've been talking, but we'll get into the box, man. It's just, I'm gonna stop doing so much. Somebody had asked me in one of my videos, why do, why do you guys always show the box and the size label and different things like that? But I guess for one, it come, becomes habitual. Um, and then for two, I guess it does. I, I've never owned a fake pair of sneakers so 
but from my understanding there are some slight differences in the boxes from the size labels and different things like that so i guess it is a good reference point um if you do get buy from somebody else especially with the prices on these resale is crazy so it gives you a little bit of something to look for you do got it you get a lot number up there nike swoosh and i'm assuming they're probably a quality control sticker in the box somewhere now we can talk about these sneakers after i've rambled for 25 minutes i'm going to pull these out and we got some talking to do because i've talked spicy about this release for months now i'll leave one down here on the floor and we'll talk a little bit about the sneaker now there's not a ton to talk about but what i want to do is let's talk about the elephant in the room first travis scott i'm gonna take this one so there's no lace you can see that there's a spare lace you know a white or cream lace whatever that is that does come with it black laces come standard pre-laced now the elephant in the room travis scott 2.0 poor man's travis scott travis knots all the different things that you hear about this sneaker and what people I, it seems to be missing a lot of people when people say that these are better than the travis scott ones that may not be a lot of people's opinion but what people seem to be missing is that okay oh the travis scott ones the resale they're two thousand dollars or whatever it is and all this that and the third what you're missing when people say well i'll speak for myself when people say that these are better than the travis scott ones because i'm one of the people that was talking really spicy saying that these are better but what you have to understand is these are better to me doesn't mean that they're better to you doesn't mean that these hold the same value obviously doesn't mean that the materials are the same sneakers and sneaker cultures unless you're talking about some pay less sneaker i don't necessarily care about all the materials that go into it what does it look like to the eye now to the eye for me i like the black toe jordan one color blocking to me these are better than the travis scott ones now the travis scott ones i do not own i've had i've held the travis scott ones i know that the suede on the travis scott ones is a little bit more plush i know the side panels the white over here is a little bit more tumbled and the leather is a little bit more you know supple to the touch does not matter if i like this color blocking better and this still has brown suede on it then these are better to me that's what i think everybody is missing now i understand the comparison you got brown suede on both um obviously everything almost everything else is different outside of the wider cell but i like these better because i like this color blocking better i would love to have both but i have two pairs of these now so i'm good like i don't i don't now am i going to travis scott these hoes out you bet pink laces are going in these now what i think the travis scott ones did for me is that it showed me that the pink laces are fire in this color blocking with, with this color combination as far as like Oh, it's a poor man's Travis Scott if I throw pink laces in these. I could care less if anybody thinks that because a lot of people took L's on these, so you don't have either pair. So you rock rock them how you like them. Be happy if you have these. Don't feel like you downgraded or you feel like, man, this, this sneaker community, man, this sneaker culture is a, a joke at times. And people, they think they're snobs, sneaker snobs, because they I have the Travis Scott ones and you got these, or I have both. I could care less. Half the people that can that have really nice sneakers and expensive and you know they can't even dress anyway. So I could care less. Go to some of your favorite sneaker YouTubers or people that have a lot of sneakers. 
Go to their IG page and look at how they dress. Look at how they dress. Look at how they put their outfits together. And you tell me if you should be worried about how people feel about how they feel about your sneaker. I could care less because I know I know how to finesse my outfits. I know I know how to put an outfit together from H to T. So anyway, I'm not I'm not gonna go off on a tangent. This video is about the sneakers, but you know, let's just talk about the sneaker a little bit because you know I, I I can go for days. Anyway, I don't know if this is a sale. This isn't as as strong of a sale as on a, some of the other Jordans, um Jordan ones. But this does look like more of a sale colorway on the side panels and on the midsole. Um, you got your traditional black toe color blocking uh, with the black leather all around the mud guard. You got your white nylon tongue. And if I, when I don't have pink laces in, when I take these to toe, I'll be throwing white or or uh, sail laces in these. I will not be walk, rocking these with black. Um, and then you, obviously you got your black swoosh. Now this suede, it's pretty nice pretty nice not bad not the best suede in the world or anything like that but it's definitely a nice touch um I don't know if it it got a little color change to it you know what another thing I want to ask y'all I mean I know that y'all fought what is booty backstroke I know unbreakable came up with that coined that term here on YouTube but why did y'all continue to rock with it like, and y'all still say it in y'all videos booty backstroke motion what is that a Chicago thing? I don't know what booty backstroke motion is. Because y'all just seem to just like accept that like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you rub suede on YouTube, you're supposed to say booty backstroke motion. It ain't got that booty back. What does that mean? What does booty backstroke motion mean? I'm dead ass serious. Like I don't know what booty backstroke motion means. I love a I love a I love a big booty, but I don't know what a booty backstroke is. Somebody just let me know in the comment section down below what booty backstroke motion is. Or stop saying it. Maybe it's a Chicago thing. Anywho, um, I don't have much to say about these. I have another video to do of some sneakers that came in a couple of days ago and I didn't do a review on. Um, but let me know if y'all were successful. Um, I also hit on a third pair. Not to piss anybody off that took all L's. I accidentally hit on 11 and a half on sneakers this morning. So I have an 11 and a half coming that I don't want or need, um, but I'll probably end up flipping that because I didn't have any intentions on flipping it, but it'll help me pay for my pair. So um, <clears throat> resale is out of this world right now, and I think it's just gonna get crazier just because of all the backups um, with shipping and different things like that, and it's a lot of hype on these now. Anytime that something is limited or perceived to be limited, You get crazy resale. Um, so anyway, I'm not gonna hold you guys up too long. I appreciate y'all stopping by and watching another one of my videos. <sighs> Poor man's Travis Scott. Poor man. Ovi!